My name is Susanna Tringe and I head the metagenome program here at the U.S. Department of Energy's Joint Genome Institute, which is a DNA sequencing center run by the Department of Energy where we use high throughput sequencing to study all variety of organisms ranging from plants and fungi to microbes. I recently received an early career award from the Department of Energy to study wetlands and their potential to capture carbon from the environment. This pilot patch here in the Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta is a wetland restoration project to see if wetland restoration can remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in addition to restoring the wildlife habitat that the wetlands once provided. The way we study the microbial communities here is by collecting the sediment with a special coring device and bringing it back to the lab where we can extract DNA from all the microbial communities present. Uh, that DNA can then be fed into DNA sequencing machines which will put out data telling us what was in the genomes of those organisms. And we can better understand what role they play in the environment and their carbon uh, cycling. The Joint Genome Institute is an ideal place to carry out this research because the scale of our sequencing operation really allows us to study these microbial communities at a depth that really wouldn't be possible anywhere else. And moreover, being affiliated with Lawrence Berkeley National Lab gives us access to really outstanding biological and environmental scientists in addition to their supercomputing center, NERSC, whose computational capacity has been really critical to our ability to analyze the sequence output that we produce. In the long run, our metagenomics research could help us understand microbial communities and their contributions to the carbon cycle and could help us manage our environments in a way that prevent excess carbon dioxide from being released into the atmosphere and possibly even sequester it, which could influence climate change and the long-term future of our planet. Other work we're doing here could lead to improved biofuels or improved growth of biofuel crops all of which are very important to the Department of Energy's mission in improving the environment and reducing our dependency on fossil fuels.